Good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good, uh, good morning. So, how is everyone doing? Is everybody okay? Yes, I'm good, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Ma I'm glad to hear that. So, before we proceed to our lesson for today, Russell, do we have any absentees in this class? We don't have any absentees for today, ma'am. Thank you, Russell. I'm glad to hear that. So, is my presentation already visible in your screens? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Okay, that's good. So as you can see, our lesson for today is about the comparative form and grammar. So before we begin our lesson proper for today, let's read this excerpt from a post about online reviews. So who would like to read? Ma'am. Yes, Benedict. Customers love to post online reviews of products these days. These reviews are now just as important as traditional <coughs> advertising maybe even more important. TV advertising is as useful as it was before, of course. Also, the positive reviews can be as valuable as ads. If a customer loves a product, he or she will endorse it just as enthusiastically as a TV ad does. Thank you, Benevic. So I have questions for you. First, what are the words or phrases that is highlighted in this excerpt? The words or phrases cited in this paragraph is as useful as and as valuable as. Okay, that's correct. So the highlighted words in this excerpt is or are as useful as and as valuable as. Next question. What are the two things that is being compared using the phrases first as useful as? Ma'am. Yes, Russell. The two things that is being compared using the phrase as useful as is traditional advertising and TV advertising. Okay, so that's correct. How about as valuable as? What are the two things being compared in this, um, using these words? Mom. Yes, I mean. Positive reviews and ads. Thank you. Okay, so the words being compared in this, um, using these words are the positive reviews and the ads. So now we have here an excerpt or an excerpt or a quote from Dave Barry's "How Mature When I'm Dead." So who would like to read? Ma'am. Okay. Yes. Can you please read the excerpt? Um, we did learn some important life lessons from sport. From sports, I learned, for example, that even though I was not as big or fast or strong or coordinated as the other kids, if I worked really hard, if I gave 100% and never quit, I would still be smaller, slower, weaker, and less coordinated than the other kids. Okay, thank you, Amy. So um, here's the first Question, um, can you identify the words or the under underlined words in the sentence or in the excerpt? The underlined words are smaller, slower, weaker, and less. Okay, so um, what can you say about this uh, four underlined words? Um, I think the underlined words are the comparative forms of the words of or adjectives. Um, Smaller for small, slower for slow, weaker for weak, and less coordinated for coordinated. Okay, so that's correct. For your last question, can you enumerate the highlighted words or phrases in this uh, excerpt? Um, the highlighted words are not as big, fast, strong, and coordinated. So what can you say about these highlighted words? I think the highlighted words are used to compare the subject I to the noun phrase the other kids in a negative manner such as such not as big, fast, strong, or coordinated. Okay, thank you. So that's correct. So it seems like that you have now the basic ideas or the basic knowledge about how a comparative or how the comparative form in grammar works. So now I have here the definition of what is a comparative form. 
So a comparative form is used to compare either the similarity or the difference between two people, ideas, or things. So I have here four sentences. Now I would like you to identify the words or the phrases that is used to, uh, to compare or to show the comparison between the two things being compared in the sentence. So I would um, answer the first sentence as an example. First sentence, her hands are as dry as the asphalt. The words or phrases used to show the comparison of the two things being compared in this sentence are the phrase or is the phrase as dry as. The two things that is being compared in the sentence is her hands and the asphalt. So um, did you get that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Okay, so who would like to answer for the second sentence? Um, yes, Benedict. Conan drives as carefully as Olivia. The two objects that were being compared to was Conan and Olivia. And the phrases used as a comparative form is as carefully as. Okay, very good. So next sentence. So who would like to answer the third sentence? Ma'am. Um, yes, I need. Josh is not as enthusiastic as Justin. So the two people being compared here are Josh and Justin. And the phrase used is not as enthusiastic as. Okay, very good. So that's correct. The word or the phrase used to show the comparison between the two things is as enthusiastic as. So for the last sentence, who would like to answer? Um. Yes. The memories they are making are much the same as ours. The two things that are being compared is memories they are making and ours. And the phrase is much the same as. Okay, so that's correct. So all of your answers are correct. So now let's proceed. So here is another sentence. Now I would like or what I would like you to do is to identify the parts of speech used in the sentence. So I would go first. So the first sentence is, the meat is as chewy as a gum. The parts of speech or the parts of speech used in the sentence are first noun, which is the meat, is, which is a be verb, chewy, which is an adjective, and gum, and gum which is a noun. So is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now, so for yes, the next sentence, who would like to answer? Um, Jean, can you answer the first sentence? Mom, can I answer? Yes, Bianca. Her dress is as red as blood. Her dress is the subject. Is is VB as red as is the as plus adjective plus as and blood is the noun. Okay, so very good. So let's check if your answer is correct. So your answer is correct. So the parts of speech in the sentence used is first the noun, her dress, is a be verb, red as the adjective, and then blood as the noun. Now, what, um, what do you notice in the arrangement in the words or of the words in the sentence? Russell? Mom, can I answer? Oh, okay, sure. So what do you notice in the arrangement of words in the sentence? Um, the adjective is in between two nouns. Okay, very good. So the adjective used in the sentence is red and it is in between the two nouns blood and her dress. So that leads us to our first um, pattern or first comparative form, which is the as plus adjective plus, na plus as, which is affirmative. So this pattern is used to compare two equal qualities of two people, ideas, places, or things. The arrangement or the sentence pattern is as follows. First is the subject, then the be verb, plus as, plus adjective, and then noun. So here are sample sentences. So for letter A, her hands are as dry as the asphalt. 
So as we can see, the sentence is divided into four parts. First is the subject, which is her hands. R, which is the be verb. As dry as, which is our comparative form, which is as plus adjective plus as. And then our last noun, which is the as form. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. So um, th that same goes to our second sentence, which uh, read as his feet are as cold as popsicles. So it's, it is also divided into four parts. First is the subject, which is his feet. Next is the be verb, which is are. Next is the comparative form, which is as plus adjective plus as, which is as cold as in the sentence and the noun popsicles. So do you have any questions with regards to that pattern? None, ma'am. So, okay, None, ma so let's proceed. Here's another sentence. So Conan drives as carefully as Olivia. Now I would like you to, again, um, identify the parts of speech used in the sentence. Who would like to try? Yes, Benedict. Conan is the subject. Drives is the verb. As carefully as is the as plus adjective plus as. And Olivia is the noun. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so your answer is correct. So there are four parts of, parts of speech in the sentence. First is Conan, which is the subject or the noun. Drives, which is the verb carefully as the adverb and Olivia as the noun. So what do you notice in the arrangement of words in the sentence? Ma Who would like to answer? Yes, Russell. The verb comes before the adverb. Okay, very good. So the verb comes, which is drives, it comes after the word or the adverb carefully. So that leads us to our second pattern, which is the as plus adverb plus as. So this pattern shows the similarity of the manner or how things are done between two actions. Its sentence pattern is, it fo is as follows. So it has the subject, then the verb, then as plus adverb plus as, and then the noun. Now let's take um, our first sentence as our example. So letter A, Conan drives as carefully as Olivia. This sentence is divided into four parts. First is Conan, which is the subject, drives as the verb, as carefully as, as our comparative form, which is as plus adverb plus as, and then Olivia, which is the noun. Same goes to our se um, second sentence, letter B. Melanie dances as gracefully as her sister. It is also divided into four parts. First is the subject, Melanie, the verb, dances, and then the comparative form, which is as plus adjective plus as, which read as gracefully as, and then our noun phrase or our noun, her sister. So do you have any questions with regards to that sentence pattern? None, ma'am. Okay, very good. None, so let's proceed to our next sentence. So who would like to read and try to answer? Ma'am. Yes, Russell. Josh is not as enthusiastic as Justin. Josh is the subject, is, is the be verb, not as enthusiastic as, is not as plus adjective plus as. Justin is the not. Okay, so let's check if your answer is correct. So you're correct. So our here in our sentence, we have Josh as the noun, is as the be verb, enthusiastic as the adjective and then justin as the noun so here's my question what do you notice in the sentence um, yes benedict mom i noticed that there's a comparison between the nouns in a negative way okay very good because in this sentence we use the word we use the word not to describe justin and compare it and compare him to josh so that leads us to our third pattern, which is the not as plus adjective plus as. So this pattern is used to show the contrast of their qualities. So the sentence pattern is as follows. Subject plus be verb plus not as plus adjective plus as and then plus noun. So let's go back to our first sentence. Josh is not as enthusiastic as Justin. So our sentence is divided into four parts again. So first is the subject, Josh, 
The second one is the be verb is. The third is the not as plus adjective plus as, which is the not as enthusiastic as, and our noun, which is Justin. Same goes for our um, second sentence. Movies are as not as interesting as books. So our subject is the movies, our be verb is are, and our um, comparative form is not as interesting as, and our noun is the books. So do you have any questions or clarifications with regards to our third pattern? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, so now let's proceed to our uh, next sentence. So who would like to read? Ma'am. Ma'am? Yes, Russell. Yes, Russell. The memories they are making are much the same as ours. So what do you think is the word or the phrase used to um, compare the two things in the sentence? The word same as. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. So the answer is the same as. That's right. So this leads us to our fourth pattern, which is the same as comparative form pattern. There, this shows the comparison between two things that are happening in a way that is similar or exactly the same. As for our example in um, the first sentence, the memories they are making are much the same as ours. The word the same as ours shows the comparison between the speaker's memory and the, the memory of, um, of the person he, she, or he or she talking about or talking to. Next um, sentence is, she loves Japanese food the same as her mother. So the same as shows the comparison or the similarity between um, the, um, the subject's loves for Japanese food as well as her mother's. So do you have any questions with regards to that um, sentence pattern? None so far, ma'am. Okay, so now let's proceed to our next sentence. So who would like to read? Um, yes, Benedict. He said it tastes like candy. Okay, so what do you think is the... There are two things that is being compared in the sentence. And what do you think is this two things that is being compared in the sentence? Okay, so the two things being compared in the sentence is the word it pertaining to a thing and the candy which she compared or he compared to that certain thing. So now what is the phrase or word that is used to show the comparison of the sentence? Who would like to answer? Ma'am. Yes, Bianca. Like. Oh. Okay, so let's see if that's correct. So the word is like. Now that leads us to our last sentence pattern or set comparative form, which um, which is like. So like appeals to the verb of the senses followed by a noun or a noun phrase and can be used to other verb of senses such as look, seem, sound, and feel. So just like our um, example earlier. So let's go back to our first example. So our first example is he said it tastes like candy. So the word um, taste pertains to the um, to our sense of taste. So um, the word or the sentence uh, use the word like to compare the two things being compared in the sentence. So um, those are the five patterns or comparative form patterns we have in grammar. So do you have any clarifications or um, questions with regards to the sentence patterns? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, so before we proceed to our activity, let's have a quick recap of the five patterns in, um, in this comparative form in grammar. So who would like to give one? Ma'am? Okay, yes. Yes, I mean. One form is as plus adjective plus as, and it is used to compare two equal qualities of two people, ideas, places, or things. Okay, that's correct. So who would like to give another? Ma'am. Okay, yes, Jean. As plus adverb plus as shows the similarity of the manner or how things are done between two actions. Okay, very good. So that's correct. Um, the third one, With what is our third um, comparative form? 
Yes, Benedict. The third one is not as plus adjective plus as. Okay, and that's okay. Yes, ma'am. And it is used to show the contrast of their qualities. Okay, so that's correct. What is our fourth comparative form? Ma'am. Ma yes, Bianca. The same as. It is uh, the comparison between two things that are happening in a way that is similar or exactly the same. Okay, very good. So that's correct. And for our last comparative form, yes, Russell. The last form is like. It appeals to the verb of the senses. Okay, very good. So um, it seems like that you really have a clear understanding of our lesson for today. So now let's proceed to our first activity. So for our exercise one, Use the words to make comparisons with the phrases or the words as and as, not and as, the same as or alike. So who would like to try number one? Mom. Yes, Jean. Desktop computers B popular laptops. My answer is desktop computers are as popular as laptops. Okay, that's correct. So the answer is desktop computers are as popular as laptops. For number two, who would like to answer? Um, yes, Benedict. Horses run fast cars. I think the answer is horses run as fast as cars. Okay, very good. So the correct answer is horses run as fast as cars. For the third one, who would like to answer for number three? Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, I mean. Number three. This bathroom be spacious, my apartment. And my answer sentence is, this bathroom is as spacious as my apartment. Okay, that's correct. So the answer for number three is, this bathroom is as spacious as my apartment. So for number four, who would like to answer? Ma'am, I would like to try po. Okay, go Russell. Snail mails, not be, send messages quickly. Electronic mails. My answer is, snail mails do not send messages as quickly as electronic mails. Okay, very good. So it seems like that you have a knowledge about the B verbs. So the correct, that's the correct answer. Snail mails do, do not send messages as quickly as electronic mails. So who would like to try our fifth question or our fifth sentence? Mom. Okay, yes. Yes, Bianca. Anne speaks English well, her mother. My answer is Anne speaks English as well as her mother. Okay, that's correct. So who would like to answer number six? Um, yes, I mean. Number six. Her interest in books and movies be the same as mine. The answer is her interest in books and movies in end movies is the same as mine. Okay, that's correct. So our correct sentence is her interest in books and movies is as the same as mine. So for number seven, who would like to answer? Mom. Yes, Benny. The store bought ice cream tastes like dried mangoes. Okay, so the answer is? Store brought the store-bought ice cream tastes like dried mangoes. Okay, very good. So that's the correct answer. The store-bought ice cream tastes like dried mangoes. For number eight, who would like to answer? Mom. Yes, Jean. She changed curtains often bed sheet. So the answer is? My answer is, she changes curtains as often as bed sheets. As often okay, as bed that, sheet. okay, that's correct. So the, that's the correct answer. She changes curtains as often as bed sheets. For our ninth sentence, who would like to answer? Mom. Yes, Bianca. As much as it seems like you own my heart, we're two worlds apart. My answer is... As much as it seems like you own my heart, we're two worlds apart. Okay, that's correct. So the answer is, as much as it seems like 
you own my heart, we are two worlds apart. So who would like to answer our last sentence? Uh, yes, Benedict. You can play with her. She, not me, frail, porcelain vase. The answer is, you can play with her. She is not as frail as porcelain vase. Okay, so that's correct. The answer is, you can play with her. She is not as frail as a porcelain vase. So, very good class. It seems like that you really understand our lesson for today. Now, let's move on to our second activity. So, in this activity, you have to complete the conversation with less or not as as and the words in parentheses. So, you should make the words negative only when not is given. So, in this activity, I would like to ask for two volunteers or three rather three volunteers to answer for letter a who would like to try um okay um, yes russell benedict and and i mean okay I okay i mean so for our first exercise for our exercise letter a um i would like tina to be Benevic, Don to be Amy, and then Russell to be Jackie. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma okay, so let's give it a try. First sentence. Your new camera is not as big as your old one. Don? I know. I know. It is not as heavy as my old ex. 2000 but it is as expensive too. And Jackie? Well, that's true. It is not as stylish, but it is as expensive. Okay, thank you, class. So now let's check if your answers are correct. So your answers are correct. So we have here first sentence, which is Tina. Your new camera is not as big as your old one. Next is Don's. I know it is not as heavy as my old X2000, but it is as expensive too. And the third is Jackie. Well, that's true. It is not as stylish, but it is as expensive. So next for our um, last activity, who would like to try this conversation? Can I hear from Bianca and Jean? Mom, Bianca left the meeting. Oh, I see. So um, Benedict, can you... um? Would you like to try to be Chris and then Jean can be Mike? Okay, I'll try. Okay, so let's give it a try. Check out this new coffee machine. It looks great. Ours is not as fancy as this new one. Well, it's, defini it's definitely fancier than ours. But it, it is not as efficient. It does not make coffee as quickly. And the, co and the coffee does not taste as good. Okay, thank you. So let's check if your answers are correct. So you're both correct for our, se for our first sentence. Check out this new coffee machine. It looks great. Ours is not as fancy as this new one. Next is Mike's sentence, which is, well, it's definitely fancier than ours, but this is not as efficient. It does not make coffee as quickly, and the coffee does not taste as good. So, class, do you have any questions, clarifications that um, you would like to clear before we proceed to our um, last activity? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. None, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, um, since everything is clear on you guys now, let's proceed to our application. So, for your application, I will just um, make this as your assignment. So, who would like to read the instruction? Ma'am. Yes, I know. Application. Write a 200-word essay comparing the difference between your favorite novel or book series and its movie TV series version. Okay, so for your assignment, I would like you to write a 200-word essay comparing the difference between your favorite novel or book series, maybe um, fictional, non-fictional, and its movie adaptation. And I will post this assignment on your Google Classroom and you can attach your answers in there. So do you have any questions or clarifications? None, ma'am. None, ma'am. None, ma'am. 
Okay, thank you everyone. So that's it for today. That's our lesson for today. I hope you have a good day and that you make good choices and that you all be safe out there. Goodbye, class. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.